The Strongman Champions League came to Gloucester in England last year, put on an amazing show, and this year is going to be bigger and better. Right, I always get excited about big competitions coming to Gloucester. I did the, the British Strongest Master a few weeks ago. Same promoter is putting on the Strongman Champions League. And last year, like I said, it was an amazing show. We had Gav Bilton there. Paul Smith ended up second. Yeah. And Ivor Schmaxus, the Champions League overall winner from 2022, came and took the win. He is not competing this year. No, but even without Ivers, it's a really exciting lineup. I'm really impressed with this, actually. It's a great lineup this year. Some new additions, some athletes that are very established athletes that have never competed in the Champions League before, which is yeah. going to be interesting to see how they transition to the slightly different format that you get from a Champions League. It's kind of like old school, you're outdoors. A lot of the top guys are almost used to that indoor environment of kind of the big kind of lights of, of being in the arena shows. It can spoil. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, you know, I've competed in a few of these shows and they're always good fun. Um, and if you're in the Gloucestershire area, I, I absolutely command you to come and watch come it's um it's a great event and i think you'll thoroughly enjoy it so let's have a look at the lineup this year then and we're starting with lewis jack now he competed in the show last year he was one of just two men able to complete the atlas stone run at this competition yeah tough set of stones at this contest and lewis is an amazing stone lifter he's the current scotland's strongest man yeah. and he he did amazing last year placing fourth he will want to come back and get onto that podium it's and gonna be tough there is some stiff opposition. There is, but I know there's a couple of events in here that Lewis absolutely loves, so I'm sure he's really looking forward to doing Definitely. well. So excited to see Tyler Cotton coming over to the UK. He was supposed to come over for a Giants Live last year. Unfortunately, picked up an injury before that. We do hear he is coming over for a Giants Live later in the year, but he's here in Gloucester for the Champions League. And this is an athlete that came second at America's Strongest Man uh, last year, beating the likes of Trey Mitchell, an yeah. amazing athlete. He's just been a little bit overlooked in terms of, you know, invites from American athletes or bigger names getting invites yeah. but he's an amazingly good strong man I'm looking forward to him getting his chance to to come and perform in this show me too so next up is Evans Ayi I believe his name is he's the Ghanaian gladiator now we haven't met this guy before but he has done a few strong he's done Champions a few League. Champions League I had a quick look at his social media as well yeah. looks like a fun guy very very powerful so yeah another athlete to see in the international world always good to see new athletes coming through so next up we have from Poland, Sebastian Kurek, who is actually a former World's Strongest Man competitor back in 2012. He's a regular at the Strongman Champions League and being Polish, you're brought up with Marius Pudzianowski, you just turn up to competitions and you're strong. <laughs> Have to train. <laughs> Next is Andrea Invernizzi, who is the current Italy's strongest man. Now he's quite new to the international scene. He's done a handful of strongman champions leagues, but earlier this year he came second in one of them, beating the likes of Ivor Schmucks. Yeah, he beat some big names in that competition. So it shows that the talent's out there, and we're starting now with these bigger shows to reach out to different regions. So I'm excited again to see another new athlete for me. To, yeah. to see it, him compete and, and just see what these athletes are capable of. Mm. Next up, we have the giant from Ireland, Sean O'Hagan. I think he has to be the tallest st competitive strongman yes. right now. Absolutely huge man, very good at carrying events, massively strong grip. We saw him last year, be good to see him back in Gloucester. So he competed at the show last year and he is returning once again, Gavin Bilton. He came third at this competition last year and of course most recently he won his first international competition at a Strongman Champions League in Serbia. So really excited to see Gav come yeah, back Yeah, Gav is on the rise rapidly at the moment. An amazing performance at World's Strongest Man this year, getting to the stone off, just narrowly missing out to make the final. Went on and won his first international. He is a man on a mission and just on that trajectory of becoming a superstar in the sport. Someone I know Auntie Liz will be looking forward to seeing is Rongo Keane. Rongo is another fantastic athlete coming over from Australia, amazing log presser, really, really good performance at the Magnus Verne Magnussen Classic last year, which he ended up winning. And he's coming over to Europe to do a number of competitions this yeah. year. So we cannot wait to see Rongo. Now, a very, very exciting addition to the competition this year is the current Europe's strongest man, Pavlo Kordiaka, also known as Handsome Pablo. Now, I wondered to myself, when was the last time the current Europe's Strongest Man competed in the Strongman Champions League? Because it is, I mean, 
several years ago, we had the likes of Zadrinus, Thor, you, Brian, even like big names doing these competitions. Whereas now it's sort of like, um, it's like people come up through the Strongman Champions League and it's a great opportunity for the lesser known guys to get seen by promoters. But it was 2015 when Thor was the reigning Europe's strongest man that we last saw a Europe's strongest wow, man champion do a strongman back Champions as that. League. Yeah, 2015. Yeah, and the yeah. interesting thing, this is Pavlo's first ever Champions League. Yeah, so he's the current really Europe's cool. strongest man, obviously made the final at World's Strongest Man this year. Someone that is really established as probably one of the top 10 in the world right now. Absolutely. Big addition to the Champions League, having him in Gloucester. Mm. Next up, we have Kane Francis, who's doing amazingly well in the Champions League over the last year. He's really kind of had a, a very fast rise in the sport. And I'm really interested to see this because he's gonna be competing against his training partner, as we have Shane Flowers also competing in this show. And this is also Shane's first time in a Champions League, yeah. so another big addition. He is training super hard. I've seen his stones, they're looking amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm sure a big battle against some of the others is gonna kind of, you know, end up happening on this set of stones. Very, very tough stones in the Gloucester show at the Champions League. And um, I think, you know, Shane is really establishing himself as a great stone lifter. So he's had a couple of injuries. He's, you know, getting himself back into full swing now. And I'm looking forward to seeing these two battle it out. So finally, we have Kelvin De Reuter, who is a huge name in the Strongman Champions League. He was the 2021 world champion, and he's won numerous competitions across the league, hasn't he? He has indeed, yeah. Very, very good at a number of events. I don't think these will be the best events for him, and we'll go into the events right now, but he is a dangerous athlete and has loads of experience in the Champions League. Mm. But moving on to the events, they are starting this off with an overhead medley. So it's gonna be yeah. a log lift, an axle, and a dumbbell. Mm -hmm. Then uh, from last year, they did the deadlift medley. It's gonna be the same again. I believe it's the Atlas Stone de um, deadlift setup. So it starts fairly light and it kind of gets heavier, but higher as they go through. Yeah, amazingly, Paul Smith won the deadlift last year. Yeah. Paul's not seen as the biggest deadlifter, but he went without straps and that strong grip paid off for him. I remember that last one, it was a tough pull, but he kept pulling. And it shows that this type of deadlift doesn't necessarily always suit just the biggest deadlifter. No. You need to be able to transition well between and adjust from going from different heights. So it's always an interesting one with, with these Champions League setups and these events where they throw in these little different elements. Yeah. Then we have the sandbag throw, and we have some great tossers at this event, Lazo. Lewis Jack, this is one of his absolute favorite events. Pavlo Kordiaka is very good at throwing, and we've got some absolute giants here as well. How is Sean O'Hagan at throwing? I'd imagine pretty good. I he's almost there, isn't he? He's basically yeah. there, so if he's not good, then he's got some serious training <laughs> to do because wrong. he has all the attributes to be amazing at it. Yeah, yeah I think the throw is gonna be very rapid. It's gonna yeah. almost come to the point of, the athletes are almost gonna to have to take a risk yeah, they to, will. to really kind of get maximum points. It's gonna be fast and furious. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna move on to the Viking Walk, which I had experience of using recently. Very you know, tough event, but it's one of those events I feel if you've used before, it's a big advantage. And yeah. some of the athletes got to do this event last year. Mm -hmm. I think those athletes will have learned from the experience and be able to kind of cover a greater distance this year. And then finally, we are finishing with the Atlas Stones. As we said, it's a tough set of stones. And people yeah. say to me, what do you mean by it's a tough set of stones? A stone is a stone. Incorrect. Stones <laughs> are different. Some stones have a real nice varnish to them. You see um, the Atlas Endurance stones, for instance. They're nice stones. Very easy stones to lift. And I say that with respect, but they are. Tacky sticks, sticks so much well. nicer to them. Mm -hmm. It makes them much easier to lift. These stones are dusty and chalky, and the tacky kind of comes off you straight away, and it slips off. And you've got to squeeze so much harder just to get connected. It's not always the same when it comes to stones. But if you are a good stone lifter, you're a good stone lifter, and you adapt. So it is a tough set of stones. Don't expect everyone to kind of blitz through them nice and quickly but I think we will see some athletes finish them all and if they do you know they're good at stones if they're finishing this set. So the lineup actually isn't complete yet is it? There's two more spots. Two more spots so there is a qualifier taking place on the 17th of June which is at the same place Gloucester Keys 
A um, couple of my athletes are going to be there. I'm going to be there. So if you're about, come down and watch, support the guys. Really, really good up and coming athletes. Great opportunity for them to get into the Champions League. Um, and then, yeah, like you said, the actual show takes place on the 12th of August. Yes, yeah, Saturday the 12th of August. I will leave a link in the video description because tickets are still available and they're very reasonably priced as well. Considering the talent and the great thing about the Strongman Champions League, Marcel and Ilka are so cool and laid back. At the end, it's like barriers down, come meet the athletes and it's just a swarm isn't it <laughs> but it is a really cool place to meet some great guys and there's some really great guys coming this year there are indeed right guys hope you're looking forward to this show let us know who you think is going to win you're looking forward to these different set of events and hopefully we get to see lots of you there take care we'll catch you guys soon stay strong this is just a sound test and check the lighting because the daughter pulled down the curtains it's oh sorry no oh it's time Let's have a look at... Oh. We'll be competing against his training partner yes. in this show as we have... Well, yeah, next yeah. up. <laughs> oh, sorry, no. Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah, Saturday the 12th of August. I will leave a link in the bio. Oh, fuck me.